I drop off Olivia from school, get ready to get signed on, there, got my coffee, get ready to sign on, get ready to sign on Uber and Lyft, and um, we just got the, the new um, Samsung S10, it's pretty, it's about the same, the same size, uh, camera layout's a little different, but for the most part, uh, it's about the same. So we can get a closer look. Anyway, yeah, lay, layout's the same. I gotta take some pictures, see how they come out. Um, maybe I'll start vlogging with this thing instead of the, the big camera here. Um, so that's kind of interesting, seeing how that comes out. And now I am gonna start my rides and thinking today about touring the Venetian, um, maybe the Palazzo. That usually seems to be my got a shape. That usually seems to be my go-to um, for like restroom stops because it's free parking. Now, um, I think I made a video of a list of free parking. Uh, there's a lot um, on the strip, and uh, and there's not a lot. But most of the ones that do charge give you an hour free or they validate. So if you're going there anyway, pretty sure you're going to pay a minimal fee. And if you're local, use that local identity to get your discounts anywhere almost anywhere um especially like the malls and uh outlet stores is a big one and museums so uh let's go get these rides peace all right so my average day of driving is um get a you know get a drink coffee energy drink you know whatever whatever it be pick your poison um get a good location get your gas uh sign on uh i have both apps running right now can't really see but oh I got I got Uber and Lyft running uh, trip is not here yet there's also one called car Q A A R they're not here yet but um I heard about it one before I moved to from LA and it was uh, up and coming um, but yeah both apps running and then um, you'll get a ping within like literally I don't know depending on your location but I'm in Summerlin and I get a ping usually in five minutes um, it depends on what time of day of course um, but yeah, so it all depends. So I hear uh, a lot of people say that they've tried, um, I was, you know, giving rides and stuff. I hear people say, um, oh, I tried Uber, I tried Lyft, it just didn't work out for me. Treat it like your own business. Don't think of that as like you're working for somebody else or whatever, because you do your own taxes and you're going to pay taxes. But there's other ways to get around that, basically. Keep your receipts, um, run a stride app or anything, any app that takes, you know, um, accountability of your miles and such. Um, besides that, it all boils down to customer service. And honestly, customer service is what it's all about. The customer gets in your car. This is behind the driver's seat. Um, first thing you want to do is confirm their name. Uh, they confirm your name and you greet them. You know, hey, how's it going? Um, how are you doing today? Be friendly. Friendly goes a long way. Now, cleanliness to your car is key, but it's not a necessity. As long as, as long as you don't drive Uber Black or Lyft XL or whatever it is. This is a family car. My daughter makes a mess of this place. And it shows. Can't keep up with it, you know. But I do my best. I dust it off. I vacuum. I, you know, car wash here and there. But it does get dusty and dirty. <coughs> but that can be overlooked as long as you provide great customer service. Now the first thing my customers see... All right, so the first thing that my customers see is me right there. And then they have this sign, this lovely sign. I also have right here, which I need to update, is my YouTube channels and my Instagram link right here. It, this has been an amazing thing because people who see it, see my art, and they want to, they DM me for commissions and such. It is an amazing thing. They can also check out some videos. Actually, I think it'll link to my TikTok, but that's another story. 
This is the most important one, guys. Check for personal items before leaving. Thank you. That one, I swear, that, that, oh, hold on, I gotta turn this thing. That is by far one of the best signs you can have because it shows that you appreciate them leaving some, not leaving something behind. It shows you that you don't have to worry about, or it shows that you care about the customer, that you're offering a service, and all that stuff. And, and it shows that it also is for your benefit too. So if they leave something, you don't have to take your time away from finding it, getting a message from Lyft or Uber to deliver it. Even the incentive is like 15, 20 bucks. It takes time out of your day. You don't know where they're gonna be. So that one, I'm telling you that sign right there, you can buy these, you can buy these signs. I just, pre I just made these. You can buy them pre-made, but I made them with Olivia. Uh, she colored them. Great job, baby. And uh, yeah. I was going to show you something right now. Oh, the Wi-Fi. Let's go to the front. So, Wi-Fi. Having Wi-Fi is very, very, very important um, for a lot of reasons. When you Uber in a big city, you'll get a lot of people from internationally visiting. And they don't tend to use their... They don't want to use their data, you know, per se. But, you have Wi-Fi. They don't have to worry about data. Anybody not worrying about... Anybody who doesn't want to worry about data can also just hop on your Wi-Fi. Now, I use a um, an iPhone, and it just runs off my Pandora, and I just hook it on, and I just use a hotspot for this. It's got a great speed. You can, you can put run a laptop, run another phone, whatever. And I use my regular phone for um, running the apps, such, you know. So, um, it's, uh, it's a great tool. Also, I just got this app. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's called, it's po very popular in, in LA too, or you can use it in LA, but it's called Gridwise. It'll come up here, I think. Let's see. As you can see. Let's see if I can focus real quick. You see it? Well, what it does, it gives you the, the date, a map. Um, it'll give you times that Airplanes are dropping off people, uh, current events, conventions. Right now we have the drag bunch. It's a drag drag queen thing, whatever. Um, we have the bull riding uh, and 24-hour uh, flight service. I mean, it, tell, it tells you right here what times flights are coming in. It's really cool. Um, so I, I recommend getting this thing right here. It's saved me for so much when you're like in a dry spell and you're just like, you know, where should, where should I go, you know? That thing makes you so much bank. But also um, key, besides having all this Wi-Fi and, and customer service is knowledge, knowing your city. Like I, dude, I, I knew LA and I was born and raised in LA, so you know the ins and outs and everything stuff like that but you still have hidden places where you didn't know exist get to know your city go explore pick up every ride you can when you first start because they're gonna take you to places and nooks and crannies you're just like whoa I didn't know this um, great it's just a great a great place to go explore get lost you don't feel bored um, and uh, you can you tell and tell you know and you can recycle that information and use it to your for your not for your um, you can recycle that information and give it to your customer and they'll be more knowledgeable. Many people don't know about, about Red Rock Canyon, Red Rock Casino. They want to go to a casino that's not so crowded, not so saturated, not so touristy. Dude, Red Rock, Orleans, Gold Coast, Rampart, um, Gold, Green Valley, um, Fiesta. I mean, they're all amazing places to go that's not so saturated and not so touristy. And they're a little bit friendlier on the paybacks. It's a personal experience. So, yeah. One last thing I forgot. Kickback. See this? It's a kickback app. What it does is it will... Okay, let me... It'll give you um, a list. You see that? Not a list, but it'll give you like a little rundown of, of Las Vegas or the area you're in, but mostly Vegas. Uh, your notifications, strip clubs, dispensaries, liquor stores, um, what's that vehicle? Well, no, not as mentioned. Anyway, it's a whole list of people that are places that will give you kickbacks. And kickbacks are amazing. Right now, as I look through this, uh, let's go to strip clubs. 
Okay, one second. Strip clubs right here. So it gives you a, a list of strip clubs. And to give you an example, let's go to, let's just say um, the popular ones, Deja Vu. It will tell you that if you go to this thing right here, you just click on it. It lets you know, focus on, focus on this, not me. Focus on this. Oh, focus on that. Focus on that. So Deja Vu, um, Showgirls. I think it's backwards. I can't see because it's on selfie mode. But um, it, you, right here, you can see the information. And I'll read it to you. It says, male customers, uh, 45 for, for um, they have, it's a cover. And 45 payout for ride share. So when they pay the cover, you get the $45 because you brought them there. If you have a limo or a taxi, it's 60 bucks. It's a little bit more. They get priority. But, um, you know, if you if you bring, like, three people, you times that three, 45 times three, your, your whole day is there. Um, now, that happens every so often, especially the weekends. But um, it's also for dispensaries. They're about maybe, like, 20 bucks a person or whatever. Um, but it's amazing, you know. So you can make your whole night just by doing that. And the rest of it's just bonus, you know, so forth. So... Kickback app is amazing, so check that out. If you're new to Rideshare, if you're watching this for, for trying to get knowledge about Rideshare, everything here I'm telling you is just, that's the key component to making easily two to three hundred dollars a day. You can, um, if that's your goal, you know, I usually push around uh, 150 or so just because I'm working between my daughter's school. And um, that's it. Nights are amazing here. So, um, and despite what people say, I've actually had rougher nights in Hollywood than here. So, I don't know. I don't know where it is, but... So there you have it. Um, some tips and tricks on ride sharing and an easy way to make a buck out here or anywhere, just in general. And keep in mind, if you do offer... Um, keep messing with my hair because I need a haircut. If you keep offering rides on the way to something in the morning or dropping off, people will um, want to stop for like a 7-Eleven stop or a Starbucks stop and they tend to like buy you something or ask you some, ask if you want anything. That's your time to get a, a good snack and keep yourself caffeinated to keep the rides going. So um, yeah, if this is your first time seeing any of these videos. If you go back, I have more tips and tricks on other things you can do. Um, to help the ride share experience to make you more money. Um, I just went through, I just been through this all my experiences and some people uh, have tough time with it. Uh, I went through a tough time, but I realized you gotta re-motivate yourself and apply the business aspect to making it your own business and you'll prosper and you'll stand out. You know, people will remember you, you know? Um, maybe I should link a referral code. Uh, maybe I'll do that in the description. I'll put referral codes for um, Uber X, or sorry, Uber and Lyft. And if you use those, if you're a new driver, you can sign on and you can get discounts. Me and you can both get some bonuses, which is kind of cool. Uh, if you're new to this channel, again, uh, subscribe, like, and share. And I'm going to show more adventures from Vegas and um, maybe some casino runs. Um, trying to get my wife on board, see if she wants to vlog with me. She's a little shy. Uh, <laughs> anyway, let's hope to change that. Anyway, peace. If you guys haven't seen um, my other channel, it's Creative Native. I'll try to link that as well more family friendly stuff, uh, the family side of uh, Vegas, apparently, um, no, sorry, uh, let me focus. It's actually the family, family friendly side of Vegas, and there's a lot to do here for kids, so, um, even myself, I was still under the impression, when you think of Vegas, you think of the Strip, think of Sin City, but there's a lot of stuff for them to do, so check out that other channel for other adventures, and, um, Hope to see you soon. All right, peace. Uh, again, subscribe, like, and share, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.